Hello, my 3D printer peeps. We are here in Bamboo Studio, and today we are going to learn how to print by object. This can come in very handy for a number of reasons. One of those reasons is to print multiple single objects in one single color on the same plate in the same project at the same time without having to color swap per layer. For example, let's say you are printing parts for a board game. And that board game requires various color gems. We will drag four STL files for game gems onto this bed and arrange them. Here they are. We will assign one color to each gem. Now, if I was to print this gem, the AMS would change colors every single layer. Black, swap, green, swap, red, swap, white, swap, black, swap, green, over and over and over and over and over again. That would take forever. We'd be looking at 61 filament changes and two hours. As you can see, it's printing each layer at the same time, swapping colors for each model. Now, some of you might say there's a simple solution. I'll go ahead and print a bunch of black, a bunch of red, a bunch of white, and a bunch of green. Print the green, print the red, print the black. What a royal pain in the ass to have to print this one print job at a time. Especially if you were to have to make several of this same model requiring these four same colored pieces. To make this easier, we will do print by object. With print by object, we will print each model in full before moving on to the next model. However, the real big difference here is we will do it all on the same bed. Here we are looking at traditional print by layer. We will go ahead and change this to print by object. Right here, click on others and scroll down till you see special mode. In there, change the print sequence to by object. We have now entered print by object mode, which is easy to tell due to these perimeters being added to the print bed. There are a few things you need to worry about and a few things you need to learn how to read when doing print by object. I'm using these small, short objects in order to simplify things so you can understand the basics before worrying about the more complicated things. Let's go over those basics. When printing by object, your printer will complete an entire model before moving on to the next model. A certain amount of space is required to be sure your tool head does not collide with another model while printing the next model. Here you can see the models are close together. Each model has a halo that looks almost like a brim at the base of the model. That halo is a marker indicating that the model is too close to another model for print by object to function without collision. Each halo is the size of the amount of clearance required for it to print without the collision. You would need to go ahead and drag the model further away until that halo is clear. Now you can see there's enough room to print this model or this model without colliding into another model. However, these two are still too close. If I drag them apart, you will see that they also now have enough clearance. Each one can be printed without the tool head colliding into the other model. Ultimately, unless you feel the need to have control over where your model is placed, despite these manual abilities, the best way to arrange models in order to avoid potential collisions is to press auto arrange. Auto arrange will take into account many factors that are more difficult for you to comprehend by simply visualizing the print bed. Whenever possible, use auto arrange and print by object together. So with print by object enabled, each model in the appropriate position, you may go ahead and press slice plate. You will now see instead of 60 plus filament changes and two hours of print time, you've got only four filament changes, one 
for each color and 24 total minutes of print time. Scrolling up, you'll see red, green, black, white. Of course, you may go ahead and clone these models, printing multiple at a time on the same bed in the same job with only four single filament changes. Let's look at the first halo at the base of the model. That halo indicates the nozzle height. Let's pretend we are trying to print by object these two models. Let's say we print this model first. The tool head then moves over to print the next teddy. The print bed will then need to rise in order to begin the next print. You will see there's not enough clearance and when the print begins, the tool head will collide with the previous model. However, if the model were over here, there is enough room for the tool head to move without colliding into that model. There are more things to learn and more things to worry about. Let's say we want to print three test dogs. They need a lot more space. We can try dragging them around ourselves and probably get some space. Uh-oh. What is this halo in the dog's face? This is the part where we have to learn what these bordering perimeters mean around the print bed. For that, you need a little imagination. Think of this first perimeter, not just lines on the outside, but an entire floor going across this bed. What that symbolizes is the rail in which your print head rides. Bamboo Studio is saying while moving, from one print to another, that rail will collide with this model at the point shown by the blue disc. Now, let's look at that second halo. That second halo indicates this bar right here, which is important because the tool head will move forward and backward. If we print this tall bunny right here and then tell it to print this jiggly teddy bear up here, when the print head moves forward, this bar will collide with the model. That is what that second halo is telling us. You would need to reduce the size of this model till its head is underneath that travel point. Unfortunately, as you can see, there are limitations with print by object when it comes to larger models. Speaking of larger models, there are other limitations you need to be aware of. I'm printing two separate models, this test dog and this test cylinder. But wait a second, what is this white perimeter at the top of the model? To understand that, we need to look at this second line framing the perimeter of our print bed. Again, imagining this as a floor rather than lines. You can see that this floor intersects at the model. This perimeter represents the top cover of your printer. This tall model here will hit the top cover of your printer when the bed comes up and Bamboo Studio explains this to you by positioning the halo at the top of the model. You can see that it goes above the cover of the printer. We're doing a print by object and the first object was this giant fire hydrant. The print bed had to lower all the way down while printing this fire hydrant lower than even shown here in this example. Then you tell the printer to print this cute little jiggly teddy bear. This teddy bear is not printed yet, so the print bed needs to raise back to the height of the nozzle to start printing. It can't because this model is too tall and when the bed moves, it's colliding with the cover and that is what the top indicator is showing you. 
you will need to either change the order of the print job or lower the height of this model so that the print bed can be raised to print the next model without touching the cover. You likely need to print this without adjusting the height. In order to see if that's possible, you will choose Print by Object. This allows Bamboo Studio to not only alter the position of the model, but to alter the order in which the models are printed. You will see that it has swapped the models and is now no longer showing intersecting with the top cover. That is because it is going to print the dog first, move the tool head here, bring the bed back up where this little dog will come nowhere near the top of the printer, then resume lowering the bed to print this taller object. Now that you understand the basics, let's go ahead and give this a test print. I am going to reduce the number of pieces. I'm also going to make them a little taller, just so the print takes a little bit longer and the time lapse is a little bit longer in order for us to actually see what happens. Because I changed the height, we do need a little more spacing for our print by object and I will rearrange. Apparently a slight change in height added a considerably larger need for more space. This is why auto arrange comes in handy because doing this manually, I may not have realized that. Let's go ahead and send this to our printer. I am going to knock our speeds down because these are rather small and I want to be sure that they print cleanly without any issues. I'm also going to slow down that first layer and that first layer infill again, just because there's very small bed contact. I've also been sure to choose my correct filament profiles. We will slice the plate showing only four filament changes and 34 minutes total print time, sending it off to my Bamboo Lab X1C. Because the models are all over the print bed, I will probably allow it to do bed leveling. Because I'm using so many different filaments, I won't bother with dynamic calibration, and I will go ahead and press send to printer. I'm Greg Adventure, and you're on 3D Rundown.